right. So let's see. Switching from drip to convert kit, and I have a bunch of my stuff here that tells me what I need to actually switch. And I guess we're gonna see if anyone comes say hi today and keep me company while I do this because I suspect this is not going to be the most entertaining task at least a lot of clicking not a lot of visually interesting things but I don't know live coding help live streaming helps me focus so here we are um let's see uh this is my convert kit Duke, and I'm going to need my drip and let's see I think we have to basically identify mm, so each tag or list needs to be exported individually and then re-imported and I guess we're gonna see what happens so if I go to PPEL hey Magdi how's it going um so we have all of our subscribers what is a pruning operation me okay so we have all of our subscribers and we are going to export these suckers so export to csv uh, we are working on exporting your data you will receive an email with a link to where you can re to where you can retrieve your export shortly okay so that's going to be our first export what is drip and convert kit so drip is a email marketing slash automation app service and convert kit is also an email marketing app service thing and i am switching from drip to convert kit because actually let's keep the orange i like the orange today um, I'm doing it because um, because drip is raising its prices and I've had some random issues with drip and I just don't want to pay as much as they want for for their new pricing structure so I'm moving my stuff over and we'll see how it goes so let's see I had my editor helpfully design uh, define a bunch of stuff for me so that it's going to be easier now let's see we have all of these tags so apparently I have 86 tags in my system we're going to update these or rather I'm going to just keep the ones I actually need uh, so let's see and I guess I can also export new ones, which would make it even easier. On uh, we're gonna do it from through this, and then uh, okay. So we're gonna need to have everyone who has purchased. So choose a filter tag, include purchased, and let's see how many people we have with that tag. Two hundred six. Wow, 2,675 people have bought something from me since I started using Drip. That's pretty cool. So export that one to CSV. And let's see if I'm already getting any of these emails. Uh, which kind of business? So this is for my content marketing slash info product business. So that's how I get emails. People sign up for things and ask me to send them emails. Okay, doke. Right, let's see. Did I get anything yet? Aha. Cool, so we are downloading this thing export 78133.zip why is it doing it as zips okay then we get the 
people export so I'm doing this right now so that we can test uh, how the importing goes and then I'm going to start creating a bunch of different tags that I need and go from there I should also be taking some notes I think because that will help so if we say add subscribers and we say import select or drag um, er, okay it's not rip subscribers.csv oh cool so we do have tags here interesting okay so any columns that are not mapped to a field will not be imported so this is an email what else can we use email confirmed at um, how do I make custom fields can I custom fields if you don't have any subscribers yet add yourself by clicking the plus button and entering information now click on your subscription profile click on plus add a new field link below the default field name and add as many fields as needed okay so we're gonna do that I'm going to add that so that we can store some of more of the data that we have um, so that I can store more data from this thing so let's see add subscribers add a single subscriber swizzets swizzets at swizzets.com save add the subscriber to a form sequence or tag uh, what do you I suggest to do to get some opportunities for remote work as a senior well have you tried just reaching out to people the every month on Hacker News there's a thread called who's hiring and it gets about 800 900 different posts for people who are looking for engineers and I'm pretty sure if you email half of those people you will find plenty of opportunities um, I need to go check what's happening with my bird. He's being suspicious. Kiwi. Um, Ein bisschen, yes, I did make more money from my side hustle last year than from my job. Okay, so let's create a tag. So we're gonna have a tag called regular. So I have a, okay, let's start. I do need to start making some, no taking some notes. Um, my beautiful pen. Okay, so where's a thing? Great, now let's see. Uh -huh. no, no, no. What do I have noted here? Ah, ah so I'm going to be taking some notes here so that I can know what I'm doing. Uh, we are the 13th 2019 and we say so we're gonna basically what I want to do is I want to stop emailing people who aren't through the onboarding sequence so I'm going to have a tag for um, we should create a segment for like regular subscribers something like that so regular sub subscriber or uh, what? all right I guess we'll see so 
I'm going to have a tag or let's have a segment called yeah regular subscriber so regular subscriber gets usual weekly emails okay so we're going to create a segment called regular subscriber or no let's add a tag so tag regular subscriber um, weekly emails weekly emails tag name weekly emails so weekly emails that's my tag great now I can add a subscriber which is me add a single subscriber Swizzets with my email and I have to add myself to weekly emails cool now I can go here has not received any emails automation sequences forms purchases oh that's cool okay now we update uh, adding a new field so what are, were the fields we said we needed Mm -hmm. so I'm going to have a field that's gonna help me do stuff uh, or like I want to add some fields to capture existing data okay so we're go I'm going to import created at not the time zone because it's not that useful mm. And alt tags, I think, would be great. Cool. So I'm going to add a new field. Field name. Um, what did I create it at? Or let's do alt create that. And I'm going to just have it empty for myself. And add a new field, alt tags, and it's also going to be empty for myself. Cool. So we now have old created ads and stuff, which means I can now go to the subscribers and run an import. So import a CSV from trip subscriber CSV. They're all going to get tagged as weekly emails because that's the best I can do right now. And we are going to say this is an email time zone. We don't need a time zone. This is going to be the old created at. Um, and these are going to be old tags. Campaigns, blah, blah, blah. Import subscribers. So now I'm waiting for the import to go through. I don't know what this is. Ah add a form to your site okay we're gonna work on that next so first to do done we moved subscribers to convert kit wonderful okay let's add a done here done import all subscribers to convert kit cool now what do we need to do next products your subscribers bought how do I add a product if I go back to home to convert kit okay so it's now showing it's still importing subscribers how do I add a product sequence form total subscribers mm hmm because if I can add products, that's going to make it a lot easier to mark old people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Onboarding. Start creating ConvertKit online communities, migrations, FAQ. Um, okay, 
product mm, broadcast subscriber someone who gives you their email address a bit of metadata a saved selection of any combination of form sequences and tags okay but I still don't know how to add products um, billing team email template your my profile That's LLC company name. Okay. Ah. So three fifty thousand street is my address. Okay, so that's got that got fixed. Why did that not update? Um, so I'm still not sure how to get products. Convert kit. How to add products? Purchase feature setup and FAQ. Okay your post purchase experience and track your revenue what you can do with purchases you'll see a new option in your visual with our purchases feature you can have the entry point in the um hmm. track revenue data in subscribers profiles yes all previous history okay so if I click Gumroad update we recently released a new feature called purchases your Gumroad account will now send purchase and revenue data to ConvertKit without changing the connection process read more here okie doke ah but how do I set up purchases with our purchases feature, okay, but mm. billing, email, you know, template, sequences, forms, automations. Like, where do I add a Gumroad integration? Aha! If I click integrations, let's see now. So we connect Gumroad, convert. Convert get authorize. Okay, but I thought I did that. So Gumroad authorize. Um, Gumroad. Let's see. So I'm kind of confused here about what I'm doing, I'm just trying to get things connected before I um, you know applications um, okay, what if we go into incognito, that's something being in incognito sometimes fixes bugs in web apps. I think it's because it disables plugins. Let's see, login. Go to automations. Go to integrations. Gumroad. Um, log in. Dude, why the fuck is this not working? Okay, so that's gonna be interesting. I why won't it let me integrate this? 
Okay, so let's continue. Uh, we're gonna create a tag called why does weekly emails have zero subscribers um, let's see this person old tags yes weekly okay so they do have tags cool now let's see if we can actually make um, Let's see, Let's see. Ah, sequences or how do I make a segment? Let's see if I can make a segment based. Yeah, I think Gumroad is intuitive, but there's a bug happening that is breaking things. Um, let's see, segment name purchased and let's see if we can. Mm. Custom field, all tags, contains, oh yes, okay. So that was a good idea. Um, Yusuf, that might actually be true. So we're gonna, let's see, purchase. And we will see, oh nice, made made a purchase so 2761 of them wonderful so that's working perfectly because we, because i imported all the old tags it means i don't have to mess about with re-importing everything with new tags so that's perfect um let's see if i can submit my account for approval we need a little bit of information about your blog or business before you can send emails. Just add your domain URL in the box below and we'll review it today. Until then, you can still use everything in your ConvertKit account, but emails won't send and new email subscribers will be listed as unconfirmed. You can still create forms and sequences as well as import subscribers from another email tool. Um, hi, my uh, blog it lives on is at swizzards.com slash blog um, it's a combination of personal blog and content marketing for my uh, software engineering uh, teaching business teaching business selling books, courses, workshops, etc. Cheers, Swizzets, request approval. Okay. So I guess we'll see how that works. Maybe I can add the Teachable integration at least. Mm -hmm. Patreon, okay, I'm gonna need that one as well. Webinar Ninja, there was Teachable somewhere. Teachable, I'm pretty sure I saw Teachable, there we go. Teachable, uh, Swizzets1 at, is it? Yes, Swizzets1 at teachable.com. And submit account for approval. Submit convert kit account for approval. Cool. Copy the URL below and paste it into your webhook settings for your Teachable site. Okay, so find the webhook settings. And because of magic, we already moved in. Oh no, wait, we're gonna have to make more segments. But no, we don't have to. So settings, React for data visualization, settings. Uh, web hooks cool new web hook we add create web hook wonderful okay, we did that you're up and running convert kit is successfully linked to your teachable account okay um, let's let's add patreon as well because I do intend to start using Patreon more than I have in the past. Uh, bus, 
bus bus verify am i a robot okay they've sent an email so that's one of the downsides of working in incognito is that everything is a little silly ow mm -hmm. patreon import is done i'm ready for an up for an upgrade of course i am patreon login attempt yes copy link address blah okay okay let's try that one again so patreon authorize allow everything this doesn't seem to be working so well okay or maybe that's already it cool um let's try gumroad again I am not a robot. Traffic lights. This is a traffic light. This, this, and this. Uh, chimneys. What the fuck? Skip. Login. Um, what is my Gumroad password? Let's see. I should probably hide this part. So I'm gonna hide this part because I don't want you to see my Gumroad password. Uh, login to last pass okie doke uh, gum road view password copy pasta where are you Blah. Log in. Oh, I am not a robot. Okay, you can see this part now. Cool. So, traffic lights. This, 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 and this. Verify. Log in. Dude, I entered the correct password. Unless I changed it again? Oh, for the love of fuck. Okay, let's try the other password manager. So, once more, hide this stuff. Um, Chrome settings. So clearly I don't know my Gumroad password, apparently. Uh, passwords. Gumroad. Wow. Okay, so my last pa the password I have saved in LastPass is not actually my... Uh, I guess I forgot my password then. That's at swizzets.com send password reset sent and let's see if last time I was live coding this thing stopped accepting messages from pretty much everyone so I want to make sure that I'm not just being boring this time And my computer is being super slow again. Wonderful. Hmm. Okay. So password instructions. Copy that. Put it here. Reset password token. Generate new password with LastPass. And dude, that is not resetting my password. OK, 
Okay, you suggested password. Password saved. Update there. And now let's see if I can log in here. Swizzets at swizzets.com. This thing, I am not a robot. Please. Uh, bicycles, bicycles, bicycles. Maybe bicycle. Login. Yay! Authorized convert kit. Wonderful. So, next, retrieve purchase history. Synchronized purchases successfully. That is very sweet. So, apparently, it's able to just do everything for me. That's awesome. You're up and running. Convert kit is successfully linked. Get started using by creating an integration. Cool. So, Okay, so now we have some weird products here. Oh, Patreons. Oh, those are the Patreons. Um, Patreon active, Patreon canceled. Whoa, that is a lot of subscribers. Weekly emails. Cool. So it created a bunch of things. Added products. Okay. So... I'm going to say that I moved all important tags. Let's see. So these are, yeah, okay. So moved all of the important tags and added in purchase integrations and stuff like that to ConvertKit. Cool. Done. Move important tags and purchase platform integrations to convert kit cool um now what's next mm -hmm. let's see what happens if i refresh this again okay i'm assuming it's going to eventually finish syncing with all of the things. Mm. Okay. So what's next? Ah, setting up the default signature. Very important. Where do we do that? So I have a pretty cool signature here. So I'm going to copy that and go from there. Email setup. And I think we can go. So what's here? Add a form to your site. Okay, that's going to be next. But I don't want to do that one next. So Swizzits LLC account settings. If we go to default email settings from name add a from address from name swizzets teller hi at swizzets.com yes there's a lot of recruiter spam because i don't open i don't reply to them and i keep them around because i want to go through them at some point and say hi and all of that um let's see do i know how to sign into my hi at swizzets I should. Mm, hi, it's Wizards, and we're going to confirm that one. Hmm. There is one segment I have to import the cold subscribers. Uh, Verify email address, copy link, lap. Wonderful. So that is now confirmed. We got my address, login email, account info, email templates. Text only, classic, modern. Hmm. 
What does the modern one look like? Oh, that is very pretty. I like the modern one. What does the cla what does text only look like? Preview layout? Nope. Don't like classic. Hmm. So what do you guys think? What should I use? This classic template or the modern template? And of course it opens in the same page. I guess the modern one is better for e email. This might be a little easier to read for people than this stuff here. Although this does look pretty nice to read. Uh, yeah. We'll go with the modern one. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to check Twitter because I can. I'm curious to see if anyone is talking at me. so people have been saying things uh, okay so we're gonna use the modern template and I am going to should I make a new email template that's based on the modern one yeah okay I'm gonna be right back because the laundry is done, so I have to go do the laund go swap the laundry from the washing machine to the dryer. Because that is something people do apparently when they're adults.
Okay, timer was wrong, washer isn't done yet. So let's see about copying over my, um, where is it? Okay, so we have weekly emails, blah, blah, blah. What's up, Bert? What are you doing? Uh, so, uh, integrations, templates, lead scoring. Uh, ah, email setup. That's what I was looking for. Email setup. Okay. I'm going to, for starters, I'm just going to copy it over because I think that will make my life easier. So, footer. How do I... Okay, so I guess I need to make a new template. New email template. Modern plus Swiss footer. Lap. Okay, and here we say, um, what do we say? Uh, so, here we have to write, um, taka taka, what are we writing? Okay, so I said copy paste, that's gonna help. Okay, so. <laughs> I have a burning question you think I can answer. I don't have all. If you reply and I'll get right back to you. I might even turn it into an email or post. Who am I and who do I help? I'm Suzet Steller and I help um, so front-end engineers improve, improve their craft, improve their craft and get better careers. Okay. Tired of learning React from to-do app examples, learn React and D3 together with my new book. Eh, okay, that needs that needs an update. So we're gonna take this one out for now. Okay, need to br want to brush up want to brush up on your ES6 syntax. Check out my interactive cheat sheet. Want to brush up on modern ES6 syntax. Want personalized help a pro pro or some code review? I'm honored. Hit reply. Uh, did some ama someone amazing share this letter with you? Wonderful. You can sign up for my weekly letters for front-end engineers. Uh, here. Don't want to hear from me anymore. No hard feelings. Use this link to unsubscribe, and it's called unsubscribe link. Uh, want to send me a nice note or gift? My postal ad address is address. Address. By the way, just in case no one has told you it yet today, I I love and appreciate you for who you are. We're gonna add a little heart emoji. Preview layout. Okay. So, p tag and p tag and p 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 
and open P. Pop, 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 pop. Preview layout. Ah, wonderful. Okay. And I'll get right back to you. I might even turn it into an email or a post. Um, let's see. Uh, let's here say style. Or let's go into here. And where it says footer dot footer p should have a font size size of 12 pixels. Hmm. Maybe if we say it's important to have a small font size new uh, it's because P P star and all of those okay so if we say dot footer P and dot footer B font size 13 pixels preview layout okay that's that's cool Cool, 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 cool. Mm. Or update your profile. Did someone amazing unsubscribe link? Or update your profile. Okay. So just in case no one has told you it yet today got that part thanks and biscan um what else was i gonna add preview layout oh this needs to not have a dot at the end it looks weird with a dot or update your profile mm. what if we say footer star much better footer star and color hash AAA okay um a, 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 let's do 888 instead. It's a little darker, perfect. And dot footer A is going to have color default. New. What's the default color? Uh, A color cool 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 okay so i'm not sure why the unsubscribe link does that so we're going to say it's the unsubscribe url um unsubscribe and a and we say a graph blah Cool. So now you can click that, you can click that, and we're going to a ref a, like that. A ES6 cheat sheet.com. Sweet. Thank you, Brandon. That's awesome. Really, that is really impressively good customer service. layout cool so we got that now one thing I like to send with my emails is a 
a type form so it would be cool if I add those type forms to let's see if Brandon can help me out um, I'm not sure how to mention him in restream so let's go to live to the live dashboard and mention him there also my laundry is ringing again so let's see To, is there a way to add a URL to every email that has a parameter identifying which email it was clicked in? Okay, so ask the question. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go real quick to swap my laundry now. So BRB. I think this is looking pretty good already. one hour timer all right <laughs> awesome so when Brandon builds that feature where I'm gonna be able to add my type forms right in the bottom of every email until then I'm gonna continue being a custom copy paste job so we ported the default signature which I'm going to improve eventually. A slash done, port um, default email signature. Cool. Now let's get my cold subscribers because those are going to get a sequence to basically tell them that I'm unsubscribing them. But the reason I have to, but I have to do that in ConvertKit, not in um, what's it called? 
cold subs. So I have to do this in ConvertKit rather than Drip so that I can cancel my Drip account today and don't have to rely on getting stuff from there. Okay, so export to CSV, okay. Um, onboarding sequence, let's see, where do I have onboarding sequences? So right now, I don't actually have an on, a good onboarding sequence. The closest is the ES6 cheat sheet follow-up. Um, let's see, where is ConvertKit? So, I want to see if it has managed to find more products already. New. Mm. Okay. Rules, automations, integrations. Cool. RSS. That is amazingly useful. That that is like half the stuff that I do. Um, okay, we're gonna do that in a bit. Let me. Um, guess I should create a form. How do I have more subscribers already than I had before? Uh, let's see, cold subscribers. Drip your drip export is ready. Click here to download. Cool. Open yourself. Um, 6.4 megs. Hey, Raphael, how are you doing today? I'm getting very hungry, to be honest. Okay, so we go to add subscribers. Import a CSV. These are going to be all of my cold people. Um, and we're going to add. Ah, I need to add a tag first. Um, create segment, create a tag called subscriber. Sabe? Um, yeah, so Brandon, I think it's relatively normal for streams to be way behind. It's primarily way behind because I'm streaming at a relatively high resolution and my computer is struggling. And I think that's what's making it behind. But it's it tends to depend. If you go on Twitch, it's usually faster. YouTube is usually way behind. Uh, Periscope, I'm not sure. So it's kind of, it depends. That's basically what it boils down to. Whoa. Okay. Uh, add subscribers. Import a CSV. Select or drop. No, not that one. Um, desktop. Drip to subscribers. Cool. And this is the email. And we. Oh. Can I add them to a tag? Yes. Tag, hold subscriber, import subscribers. Cool, so we, okay, I onboard, imported that. Now, let's see, what should I do next? I guess the onboarding sequence down here says that I should add a form. Hi everyone, welcome to well. ConvertKit. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to create your first form in ConvertKit. So mm. let's just go ahead first and click on create a form right here from your dash. And okay. you'll see an option for a landing page and a form. We'll get to landing page in another video, but we're going to click on form for now. So we're going to go into the full style right now. First thing, if you want to change the name of your form, just click up here. And it says like my form or newsletter. Or I actually like to name things based on where I have them. So it might be a uh, sidebar form. Just so I know where it is. 
Mm-hmm. Now, anything that I want to change in terms of the text, I just have to click on to change. Same thing with first name or email address up here. Now, just to note, if you change the name of this, like call this last name instead, it's still going to go through as an email address field. So probably not, uh, probably not any reason to change these. But just so you know, okay. you're say, like, your first name, but it doesn't change what the field itself is. Mm. And you can even change the button text right here. And a big thing is that you can change the colors right here. So the accent here, button color. If we want to take a look at how our form appears, we're just going to click on View, hmm. and you'll see it right here. Now, this is actually a live view as well, so if I go up here and look... Yeah, it looks old. The, it doesn't even fit the ski, the color scheme anymore, does it? Okay, so let's just try igno figuring it out from scratch. New film. Um... Hmm. Okay, let's try that. We should have ooh a slide in a model. Which form should I use? Which forms do I have? Um, let's see. So I'm going to use this sucker as my guide. Okay. Become a better front end engineer, improve your career. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have a. So, Brandon, you have a lot of experience. Would you recommend a modal form or a slide in form for something that goes directly on my blog? Because I can't quite decide which one I should use. Mm hmm. Let's try a modal form. Clean, full, minimal. Ooh, minimal looks nice. But let's go with full. So, improve your Letter, improve your career. Slide in, okay, let's go with slide in. Brandon is the expert here. So form, slide in, full slide in. Not sure what the difference is, those screenshots look the same. Your first name, your email address. Um, Yeah, only because Brandon doesn't like models. Surprisingly, I get a lot of people saying they don't like models, but whenever I had a model, my my opt-in rate was the highest. So, improve your career, become a better front-end engineer. Become a better front-end engineer. Here's the deal. Uh, ba -ba Here's the deal. Drop your email, leave your email, share your email, drop your email, leave your email, leave your email, and I'll send you an interactive uh, mo a modern JavaScript an interactive modern modern JavaScript cheat sheet um, book interactive modern JavaScript cheat sheet write away after after that you'll get an e um, you'll get an email you'll get emails you'll get some you'll get an email every week mm -hmm. after that you'll get 
emails every week talking about React, JavaScript, and uh, your engineering career. And your any your career, engineering career, React, JavaScript, and your career and your career. Uh, over 10,000 engineers, over 10,000 engineers already love them. Hmm. What kind of image should I put in? Let's let's do my my beautiful face. So avatars, knee circle. There. Um. Yeah. I would never have an ad block preventer. That would be just silly. Um. Ah, how do I delete this guy now? Delete field. Um, background color. I want to improve my career. I want a better career. I want to improve my career. What? What kind of no spam, no spam and subscribe anytime? Yeah, show powered by link your email address. I want help, help improve my career. I want to improve my career letter become a better front-end engineer improve your career send me stuff to send me stuff to improve my career improve my career improve my career okay so become a better front-end engineer Here's the deal. Leave your email. Leave your email and I'll send you an interactive modern JavaScript cheat sheet right away. After that, you'll get emails every week talking about React, JavaScript, and your career. Over 10,000 engineers already love them. Okay. And let's add some, it would be great if I could add a, a little quote here from one of my people. So let's go to um, sheetsgoogle.com. year of email polls. Hey Ridari, I think the chat is working. Um, it was an entertaining read. Actually, I think I have some better ones over here. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Newsletter feedback form. Okay, results. Yeah, I'm not sure why the chat froze earlier on the job on uh, on the stream, but mm. keep on going. Your transparency is great. Just like to know more about love. So do mm. there we go. Quote. That doesn't look very nice. Okay, let's try a different one. So, what do I like working at big or small companies? I personally enjoy working at smaller companies um, or just starting my own. But in terms of like what's best for your total compensation and stuff like that, you are actually much better off. Uh, at a big company it's so it, it's like a small company uh, there's a lot of opportunities for fast advancement if the company is growing there's a lot of interesting things you can do and wear many hats and all of that kind of stuff but it also has um, like the downside of smaller companies is that there's usually less money you're providing less because you're providing less value in terms of how much impact you have on the bottom line. I mean, you have a large impact on the bottom line, but the bottom line isn't very large in itself, which means that you can't be compensated as much as you can in a large company. But in a large company, you then have more, uh, more shit to deal with. So it's kind of hard to say, I guess. Okay, so you're the only newsletter I actually read. Here's the deal. Leave your email and I'll send you an interactive modern JavaScript cheat sheet right away. After that, you'll get emails every week talking about React, JavaScript, and your career. Over 10,000 engineers already love them. And my beautiful face, no spam, unsubscribe anytime, improve my career. Okay. Or after confirming, redirect to that. Uh, style, slide in form. Background color, background image, custom CSS. Continue to show the form. Change what's shown to return visitors who have already subscribed to this form. Mm, I should have a thank you page, shouldn't I? Let's see, do I have a thank you page? Swizzets.com, thanks.html. Ah, yes. So this is something that I need to improve and fix. Okay. Save. Um, let's see now. Incentive email. So, bottom right, scroll percentage, timing, mm -hmm. with the link by copying the code below, which devices should see this once every 15 days. 
success. Uh, let's add a rock on emoji. Why am I making the switch? The reason I'm making the switch is because Drip has been having some weird issues. They've had, they just haven't been that great of a company lately. Um, their customer service has been a little weird. There's been a lot of my friends have been complaining. I've seen some weird like deliverability issues that I never quite was able to confirm whether they're actual issues or my emails just suck. Uh, and then they decided to change the price and it's going up almost 100% for me. So I decided to move to ConvertKit because I've been meaning to move to ConvertKit for a really long time now. S success. We're best friends now. Check your email to claim the prize. Claim your prize. To claim the prize, claim your prize. Check the, to claim the prize. Uh, ba -ba -bum, the prize, so we got that. Cool, save. Now let's write the em the incentive email from hi at Swizzet. Here's your modern Friend, here's your modern Java script cheat sheet. And I'm going to once more copy pasta stuff. Because why not? I already have all this stuff built. Um, and I'm going to deal with making the onboarding sequences better some other time. Okay, so we go to the gun to here. Information settings post sign up goes to the thanks HTML page, which I'm gonna have to fix. Um, rules. Ha. Send a campaign ES6 cheat sheet to block subscriber. Yay, I'm happy the email editor is going to be improving. So this has two emails. Okay, so emails. I'm getting a little loopy. So onboarding sequence, automation for ES6, change form on blog, change form on React D3JS, cancel drip account, and I'm also gonna have to, um, what am I doing as well? I said I have to improve onboarding. Oh no, that's the onboarding sequence. Forms, uh, so I have to change forms. I have to do stuff there. Okay. What else did I say I have to do? Oh man, I, I think I'm starting to lose it. So I just said I have to do something and now I can't remember to put it on the to-do list, but new friend. So I'm gonna copy paste this and see what happens. Um, wow, so okay. you know what?
we're gonna I'm going to try adding an actual sequence that everyone gets subscribed to who comes here so this is a, a slide up swizzets.com form swizzets.com slide up form slide up form save reports no content content embed um, with yeah so because I know it's plain text I'm going to try doing it in um, why is this not loading interesting WordPress embed using WordPress unbounce JavaScript HTML share so why is this not loading That's weird. Oh, that is very strange. So the hosted form is still a slide up form, even though quite odd. Okay, I'm gonna copy that to a proper form then. So sequences, let's see. Oh, I can say slash done, basic email sign up form, convert kit. Okay, so now we're doing the onboarding sequence. Mm, new sequence, sequence name, onboarding, create sequence. Sequences are an automated blah blah blah. I want this one. Okay, so content is going to be copy pasted. Friend, no. Uh, friend your your friend here's your here's your interactive modern java script cheat sheet with a book emoji and we go copy pasta by clicking the filter icon, you can easily exclude a subscriber from receiving this email based on attack, segment, date, blah, delay sending by, this is the amount of time, an email will only be sent if it's set to publish, okay, so, hello new friend, thank you for signing up, here's the interactive JavaScript cheat sheet, I promise, Um, yeah, Brandon, ideally I would be able to use the same form as the pop-up and as an embedded form that I can link to on Twitter or whatever. I know you also offer embedded forms, but it would be easier if I didn't have to copy things around. I hope you like it. By the way... I'm Swizzets, a geek with a hat. You can find out more about me by googling my name. The short version is that I'm from Slovenia, but I get to live in San Francisco after Uncle Sam, this Uncle, Uncle Sam decided I can have a genius visa. Um, you can read about how that happened here. Wow. Here and uh, here. Wizard Genius Visa and how I later sponsored my own here. Uh, that's a file link, insert link, blah. Okay, how I later sponsored my own here. Mm -hmm. and how I later sponsored my own here um.
I try to publish something new on my blog. I don't need to. No, Morgan. Uh, I try to publish something new on my blog three times per week. Three. Three times per week. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays are for technical content. Three times per week. Mondays and Wednesdays are technical. Technical mm, Mondays and Wednesdays are technical. Usual uh, React and JavaScript most often. Sometimes uh, backend stuff occasionally. Computer science when I feel like. Fridays are for softer topics about careers, time management, and about careers, being an engineer, being an engineer, working with working with others, um, optimizing your life, and things like that. Um, your from now on, I'm going. I'm going to on. Um, uh, you're gonna. You're going to get those in your email inbox from now on. Mondays, Mondays contain a special treat. Monday mornings contain a special treat. Monday mornings contain a special treat. You'll see. You'll see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Mm. To your interactive JavaScript. Cheat sheet again, you're going to get those in your email inbox from now on. Monday mornings contain a special treat, you'll see. Da, da, da. Three times per week. Mm -hmm. Um If you don't want those, if you don't want those emails, you should unsubscribe. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. No hard feelings. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. No hard feelings. Um, heart. Okay. Now, if there was just one thing you could ask me to write about, what would it be? How can I... If there was just one thing you could ask me to write about, what would it be? How can I help you improve your career? Hit reply. P.S. Here's the link to your jabla. Okay, save all. This is published and it's going to send out after one hour. Can I do half an hour after 0.5 hours after subscription? 
Okay. So that works. Here's your interactive modern JavaScript cheat sheet. Now let's see. Um, email one. Let's do what is email two? Hi, hey again, it's me, Swizz. I'm happy I'm happy I was able to help Herman um, Wow I am totally not publishing something new every day anymore um, let's see I'm gonna have to think about this email sequence so for now I'm going to email template account default. Let's actually make sure that my email template is the one I want it to be. Where do I do that again? Oh, email templates, modern, wait. What? Where did my template go? Seriously, my template vanished? Modern with Swiss footer. So now I have to make that template again because the save button was hiding. Great. Um, that is quite frustrating okay new email template modern with Swiss footer let's go do this again okay so we said dot footer asterisk is going to be color hash a font size uh, 17 pixels and we said what else dot footer a is going to be the same as this where are we mm -hmm. okay and let's go back to my four email setup here mm -hmm. no not unsubscribe links where were we basic email settings okay now let's see where was I uh, ba -bum. set P uh, and that one we said we're going to comment out for now here is a heart emoji P okay um, this is going to be the unsubscribe URL or update your profile. Use this link to unsubscribe or update your profile instead. Update your profile instead. Okay. So B and B, B, and B, and I help front end engineers improve their careers. Uh, we said this one is deprecated for now because it has problems. B needs to br want to want to brush up on your 
modern JavaScript syntax. Check out my interactive cheat sheet. href blah es6 cheat sheet.com and a want to personalize help per programming session or some code review i'm honored i'll reply and you can set it up did, did someone amazing share this letter with you wonderful you can sign up for my weekly letters for front-end engineers here a ref blur swizzs.com slash blog don't want to hear from me anymore no hard feelings use this link to unsubscribe want to send me a nice note or gift um no i think i think that's fine This needs to say address, and we can remove this stuff. No, uh, thanks for the uh, thanks, Brandon. But I think I don't have a good way for you to send me that, unfortunately. Uh, maybe my email. pretty okay right I think yeah okay so actually save and then say use this template cool I'm, I'm happy I discovered that Swiss footer, duplicate this sequence, delete, update, okay, and we are sending it around, uh, let's see, Pacific, I like to send things around 10 a.m., cool, so that, wow, okay, around 10 a.m., Pacific, uh, email template sent from hi at Swizzards update sequence go back to content uh, we're gonna figure this out I'm basically what sounds like a click on this link scam uh, now let's see if I can build an automation Okay, new automation um, onboarding automation okay. okay thanks create automation joins a form so choose a form swizzes.com slide up form mm, okay Okay, joins a form, swizzles.com, slide up, add event, plus action email sequence, onboarding, add action, plus add or remove tag, weekly emails. Wonderful. So we should now have a automation where once you sign up, um yeah once you sign up we send you an onboarding sequence once you're done onboarding we put you into the weekly emails tag so that i can start sending weekly emails and i'm going to say for now the onboarding sequence is done but we shall see um okay so
Um, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Okay, so we got that. I'm going to still have to slash done onboarding sequence MVP. Cool. Now the next one, the next step on my list is changing the automation on Gumroad for the ES6 cheat sheet because that's a pretty important entrance into my funnels. Cheat sheet, where are you at? Wow, 14,000 views. That's a lot. So, what does it do? Customers are redirected to the thanks URL. Okay. Hmm. That. Okay, I need to fix this as well. Holy vey, so much things, so many things that I need to fix. Okay, so let's add here. Um, makes a purchase from Gumroad for the ES6 cheat sheet. And that also puts them in the onboarding sequence uh, because it's the same secret, the same sequence. Cool. Well, that should work. Now it's time to change the form on my blog. Um, done rewire ES6 cheat sheet purchase to new onboarding. Okay, now let's go into my blog, swiss.com slash blog VP admin. And, and I believe there is a convert kit integration that I can use. Let's see how many people are out there. Mm, plugins. Okay, there's, that is actually a lot more people than I would have thought. Um, as you can see, everything needs updating. Mm. Okay, let's just update. Let's click a couple of update buttons since we're here just now, might as well. What does my girlfriend want? Okay. Uh, cool. So add new plugin. Let's see. Convert kit. I'm sure there's a plugin for convert kit for WordPress. Hi, Bert. Of course there is. It only has two. Wow, that is so sad. 10,000 users and only two ratings. Hi, Bert. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to order me some food. Grubhub. Okay. Uh, activate. More details. How do I configure it? Hmm. Verti kit. Ah. Settings. Get your convert kit API key. I have one of those over here. Account settings. This is probably something I shouldn't be sharing with everyone, but whatever. 
API secret. Uh, this is definitely something I'm not supposed to show you. So, zoop. And shoo. Okay. Save changes. Cool. Get your convert kit. Oh, now you're now you can see my secret. That's funny. Suzes.com sign up form. Save connection data to a log file. Meh. Save changes. Okay, so I pretty sure I will now have two of these forms. Mm -hmm. So where's the convert kit pay one? So for dinner, I'm going to have uh, what am I going to have for dinner? The, the goal is to have um, I'm going to have Indian wraps. Convert kit. Convert kit is not loading. So let's go here. Let's see what happens if I disable drip. Disable tracking code in all, all, all pages. Hi, Burp. Um, or we can go to my tools. No. Plugins. Installed plugins. And I'm just going to uninstall drip because I'm not going to be using that anymore. Where are you? Deactivate. Hi, Burp. Okay, that is deactivated. Now let's see. Empty cache and hard reload. No more. Okay, so I think I have some very strong caching enabled somewhere. Um, oh, let's see. So, installed plugins, users, tools. Um, I do like Indian food. Do you not like Indian food? Ah, into the middle of a post or page contain using convert kit default form suicides.com slide up form. What? Why does that keep changing back? Um. Ah, it's only, okay, save changes. If you wish to turn off form embedding or select a different form on an individual, you can do so using convert kits. Okay, so now if I go here, I should be getting the convert kit form. Still no, all right. Um, let's do the next thing. So transmit. You should, I mean, basically, I really recommend you try Indian food one if you get a chance. Uh, let's open that. Okay, so. Grubhub. And chat corner. So chat corner, I'm ordering for, not for delivery, but pickup, because it's right across the street. So I'm in fact lazy enough that I'm ordering food from across the street and then just going to pick it up. So we are going to have, or I'm going to have a Desi chicken wrap. That is going to be ten dollars. And what else? Hmm. Should I have some mosas? Chicken tikka masala, sak paneer, garlic naan, white basmati. No, no beverages. Papri chat, palak chat, bel puri, rice puffs, noodles, potatoes, chili. No, penny puri, sef puri. Hmm. Uh, 
Appeti appetizers. Appetizers. Okay, it does not have appetizers. Pakoras. Pakoras are good. Salads, wraps. Should I have two wraps? Oh. Okay. I'm going to go super fat and I'm going to have two rolls. Two wraps. Because I am. Let's see, how much do I have to actually eat? Oh. So this says I have to eat 1,600 more calories, so two, wrap, two wraps is perfect. Um, continue to check out. Uh -huh. Pick up by moi. Payment Apple Pay. Place my order. Double click to pay. Wonderful. So pickup time 20 to 30 minutes, but I'm not actually sure if I will stick around that long because I'm getting very hungry. So web apps, we have Swizzit's blog in here somewhere. Swizzit's com. Yes, okay, so Swizzit's com, WP content. Because basically what I'm checking now is I believe I have manually added drip somewhere. Um, includes, no, I think VP content. If I go to teams and which one am I using? I think it's VP bootstrap customized. Team, team, team. Oh, appearance, teams. So I am using WP bust but bleh, WP bootstrap customized. So WP bootstrap customized. If we go to a, a single PHP, if I open that, where does it actually open? Hi burp. But no, I don't wanna open that in uh, let's open it with what do I have? Can Emacs do that? Visual Studio Code. Let's see if Visual Studio Code is smart enough to edit via FTP. Drip. Ah, see, I knew it. Uh, down. So that is that one. Oh. Okay, so this is like a much better. Okay, these this copy here is much better, so I'm going to reuse this copy. Um, but I am also getting pretty hungry over here. So if I go to convert kit settings forms let's make an embedded form swizzes.com mm. so slide up form alexa stop Man, I love right blah. Lightens up my day. Cool. Join over ten thousand people just like you. Engineers just like you, engineers just like you, already improving the skills, your, their skills. Here's how it works. Leave your email and I'll send you an interactive after that, you'll get taught 
fully written emails every week about React, JavaScript, and your career. Lessons learned. Lessons learned over 20 years. How is how is what monetized, Kevin? Lessons learned over my 20 years in the industry working with companies ranging from tiny startups to Fortune 5 behemoths. Wizards. Gee. Swizzards. Okay, so this would be cool if it floated, but whatevs. Okay. So save. Embed. Embed your form on with one line of JavaScript. So my email marketing setup, the way it's monetized, it it's uh, designed to sell my books and courses and stuff like that. So that's how it's monetized. Mm. Okay, let's see what happens. Actually, no, I'm going to go here and save this. No, come on, go away. Yes, forms, let's make a new form. Um, form inline, clean full. And this is the uh, swizzards.com inline form. Duplicate my tab. Uh, Swizzit.com slide up form. Learn something new. Want to learn something new? Let me learn something new. Um, want to become a better engineer oh. okay want to improve your skills want to improve your skills Look get my facé again because why not and the rest we're gonna copy over this stuff <laughs> okie doke susan.com slider form and no spam, unsubscribe anytime. Okay, save. And no incentive email because we already have that. In line form. Here, blub, success, we're best friends now. Check your email to claim the prize. Save. Okay, so we got that. Learn something new, want to improve your skills. Now, how do we embed this shit? So this is the inline form. So I'm going to see what happens if I just replace this stuff here. Okay, now let's see if that actually worked by going back. Aha! Downloading, uploading something. No. Mm. Quit. Open with Visual Studio Code. We're gonna see if it actually saved the thing. It did. Very nice. OK. 
Okay. Now let's see what happens if we go to my email, my blog. Nothing has changed. Um. Okay, so if I go to my performance dashboard, I'm going to wipe everything. So empty page cache. And once it's emptied, I'm hoping that that will make uh, ConvertKit actually start working on my page. Aha. Doke, so that's not perfect. We're gonna go back and just like you already improving their skills. Join over 10,000 engineers just like you already improving their skills. Look, with a little thingy. Uh huh. Okay, save. So we're gonna go here and say uh, H3 maybe? No. Mm. H3 learned something new. Want to improve your skills? that work better so yeah one of the problems here is that I just have a lot going on and it's kind of shitty but let's see so page cache successfully emptied let's see if that works empty all caches and I have I'm gonna have to keep doing this because things are just silly right now um, I'm going to delete this form for now because it's a bit silly so we have the h3 learned something new want to improve your skills P, let me help you join over 10,000 engineers already improving their skills Here's how it works. Okay, interactive cheat sheet of 
for the love of fuck, VS Code, seriously. So VS Code has a problem, or at least my VS Code has a problem, where it sometimes freezes while trying to syntax highlight. And it is quite annoying. Why is Git trying to access my contacts? That's just weird. Um, okay, so React JavaScript and your career. Lessons learned over my 20 years in the industry of working with companies ranging from tiny startups to Fortune 5 behemoths. Okay. And we go here. Uh, ba -ba. Get thoughtful. Letters. Okay, save. Embed. Copy pasta, we put that down here. Um, then we go back to the performance dashboard. Hybrid, no, not compatibility check. Uh, empty all caches. Okay, and we go back here, reload, and let's see. Okay, that works, right? Cool. Okay. Um, what was I gonna do next? Join over 10,000 engineers just like you. Over 10,000 engineers. Just like you already improving their skills. Perfect. So, got that. Um, so, I changed the form on my blog. I'm gonna have to still change the form on, on the home page. Change form on home page. Uh, what else do I need? Improve. Improve onboarding. Sequence. So, change form on homepage, improve onboarding sequence. Cancel drip account. That can happen later. Uh, Kido. Cool. Um, so I'm not really sure why my why the form is not popping up, but I think the main stuff has got is done. Um, this isn't really making a request to convert. Ha. Okay, so it is there now. Um, but for some reason, the slide up form is not showing up. Not sure why. I'm going to check it again here. 
if it forgot to save bird, bird kit where are you oh. default form suizet.com slide up let's do refresh forms suizet.com slide up form save changes Okay, settings saved, but if I reload, it goes away again, doesn't it? No, okay, it shows up now. Cool. Um, one thing I do need to do, let's go back to forms. Oh, wait, did I not save that? Okay, save. Um, go back to automations. And onboarding automation should happen also if you join a inline form. Cool. Awesome. So I'm going to stop the stream now because I am starving. There's only like two or three more things left to do to finish my new setup. I can do those tomorrow, but because I have the basics done. And yeah, that's it for now. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks Brandon if you're still around for helping out. And we should activate this, turn it on. And that's it. I'm going to continue working on this after I eat and watch Grand Tour in the privacy of not live coding. See you guys. See how many people are still there. Mm -hmm. 